Big setback for UK Home Office. In today's video update, we will discuss about the criticism on the UK Immigration Bill, which proposes biometric data collection from millions. The UK's Nationality and Borders Bill's latest update, which was set out by the UK Home Office, includes strategies to launch an electronic travel authorization system for EU travelers, which could gather biometric data on up to 30 million individuals annually. The UK uh, points based immigration system. Ending free movement. The change is coming. The change is, the change is the coming. The change is coming. Please keep in mind that the digital visa system will obligate an online application process, including digital document submission and perchance biometric date and information collection, which rights groups have disapproved. Preeti Patel, the UK Home Secretary, announced that citizens of countries who do not liaise with the new system could be punished with deportations and removals, the total deferral of the issuance of visas to the country in question or the obligation of enforced upsurges to processing times, or a 190 pounds, roughly 262 US dollars, surcharge on applications. Patel is no outsider to polemic. The UK Home Office came under fire earlier in 2021 for unintentionally erasing an approximated 150,000 arrest history records from the Police National Computer, PNC. From the start of October, the UK government abandoned the use of EU and European Economic Area identity for travel into the UK because of fraud concerns as segment of the country's plan to switch to digital passports and biometric data as sole verification obligations. Additional modifications to the bill include rules to allow the introduction of the ETA, electronic travel authorization, a visa waiver system whereby travel carriers will have to verify that all passengers have accurate endorsement. Disapproval and warnings of the impact of the bill could have been covered by rights groups, Amnesty International, State Watch, and the UN's Refugee Agency, which has been voluble about the influences the bill will have intensely concerning the mass collection of biometric data. State Watch informs that present safety measures on the processing of biometric and personal data risk, risking rights under the European Convention on Human Rights to Freedom from Discrimination and to a Private and Family Life. The bill also suggests the utilization of X-rays on migrants, who are believed to be lying about age, in order to evaluate their bones, or take and examine DNA samples. Pre-pandemic travel scales show that approximately 30 million individuals annually will require to get an ETA under the bill's legislation, with Ireland being the only nation for which this will not be obligated. This is the end of today's video update. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching today's video update.